Rainbow's Children's Hospice is in Loughborough, but cares for children from right across the East Midlands. It was started by this man, Harry Moore, whose daughter Laura died aged only five. Once you, you know, you find out that you have a child with a terminal disease, it's like you move into a different world, it's a different dimension. It's something that happens to other people. It's something you read about in the papers or hear on the, t see on the TV. When you move into that little world, you come to accept it and your life changes. Rainbows provides respite, palliative and terminal care to families with a child who has a life-limiting illness. But really, that's not all. I visited Rainbows and was hugely impressed with the work they do day in, day out for children and their families. I think people often get the wrong idea and think a children's hospice is a place where children go to die. Actually, it's a place where children and their families go to live. And one of the children whose life is made so much better by Rainbows is Mohammed, the family's second child to be cared for there. They help so much with um, my kids. And since my daughter, I never used to trust anybody much. I trust Rainbows. He loves Rainbows. When, he goes, when he's ill at home even, when he goes to Rainbows, he's fine. He loves the sensory room and uh, he likes the jacuzzi also there. Uh, the jacuzzi he has there, yeah. and yeah, especially uh, all the staff there, they actually wait for Muhammad. You know, when they say Muhammad is here, they actually fight for him and say, "Oh, I'll take Muhammad. I'll take Muhammad." Rainbows is all about giving families good memories, and every child there is treated as a special gift. Maybe God loves us. That's why He's given us these kids. You know, in our religion, they say kids like this. If you look after them you get the reward. And one of those rewards is the fact that many of these children are living longer, which is why rainbows need their new wing for teenagers. There you go, Thomas. The Rickett family found out that their twins were suffering from a condition called San Filippo when they were just seven years old. From that moment on, life changed. The house has been adapted and everyone helps out, but rainbows provides a haven for them all. They're an extension to the family and they're just always there for you. Mm. You know, whether it be a problem with Thomas or Charlotte or whether it be something with ourselves. And one of those problems is helping these youngsters move from child to adult. Thomas is a typical 20-year-old young man, you know, and trying to tell him that, no, Thomas, you, you, you can't flirt with everybody that you see. <laughs> um, you know, and Charlotte's the same. Um, you know, it, it is difficult. And Rainbow's help by offering a whole host of facilities, including music therapy, with the inspirational Neil. I have one of the most priv you know, privileged jobs in the world, and I think most of the staff here would, would join in with me in that, is that you're sharing in something that is so, so difficult, but you're actually enabling and empowering a family to be able to share and to get as much done in perhaps what may be a short time as possible. Mm. We'll close the doors, and obviously the medical world is very important, but we'll just sort of say, you know, right, we're just going to leave it outside. We're just going to play. We're, you, know, you, you know, you're a child, you're a young person. We're just going to play. We're going to have great fun. The twins only have 12 nights a year allocated to them for rainbows. But all the young adults who attend the hospice would really like to come more often. Harry is 12 and attends the Ivanhoe Specialist Technology College in Ashby in Leicestershire. His favourite subjects are IT and maths, and his mother says he wants to be a millionaire. Harry also spends time at Rainbows and has some pretty good ideas about the new wing. Make it bigger. Yeah. Uh, put more, make some of the rooms bigger. Mm -hmm. Would you put your swimming pool in? Yeah. Yeah, my swimming pool. Um, Games room? Yeah, make the games room a lot bigger. He's able to meet, um, you know, other children of similar um, needs as himself and, you know, with a common ground and, um, and older children as well. And when, when the extension, the new build is done, he, you know, hopefully he's going to be able to spend more time there and be able to be with, with um, you know, children that are perhaps a bit older as well and help him with that transition of a teenager. But one of the challenges for Rainbows is one of their successes. Children with life-limiting conditions are living longer. So Rainbows is there for the whole family, whatever the future may bring. This is the quiet room. It's a very important facility, as here families can say a final goodbye to a child who has died. And on the wall in the quiet room, we found a poem which sums up what Rainbows is all about.
As rainbows are formed from both sunshine and rain, so our lives are a mixture of joy and some pain. If we bear with the darkness and learn from it too, the rain clouds will part and the sun will break through. Sun.